Hi, and welcome to another episode of The Property Show, your gateway to the world of real estate. Today, the property pick of the week highlights a collection of favorite neighborhoods for bargain hunters in the rental market basket. These projects are also perfect investment options. On the expert segment, catch insights from our upskill tanky budget solutions where we are turning plots into dream home. All you need to have is a plot and the next time you visit that plot, it's a home. Our accessory spot features deco tips personalizing a rental home with a touch of glam and beautiful pieces without breaking the lease agreement. Our favorite home ownership segment brings lessons to consider when getting onto the property ladder. My experience since I moved in here has been outstanding. It's been one of the best. The property gallery, it's all about affordable investment options available in the market. Sit back, relax and enjoy the show. We can also interact on our social media handles. As always, there is something for everyone. Our property pick of the week brings a unique guide on modern rental projects that are ready for immediate occupation, ideal places you can call home, as well as real-time investment opportunities available in the market. Our first stop takes us to the Shaba village, described by many as a perfectly tucked away development in the vast growing town of Mulolongo along Mombasa Road. This development raises the bar for contemporary modern family living, truly a breath of fresh air. The design and amenities tick all the boxes. Let's have a look. Shaba village is located off Mombasa Road, approximately 15 kilometers away from Nairobi town. The property is less than four minutes from Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Shaba village is within easy reach of a number of shopping centers such as Shaba village, your perfect modern family home integrated with nature. Accommodation includes spacious lounge, open plan kitchen, and doby area, large windows, mahogany doors, wrought iron curtain rods, gypsum ceiling with cornices, high ceilings, master bedroom ensuite to cozy bedrooms with a shared washroom, and visitors' cloakroom. Another hotspot. For bargain rental hunters is Kitengela Terraces from 25,000 Kenya shillings only per month. These two bedroom apartments, conveniently located in the outskirts of Nairobi, could be your home. Here is a look. Kitengela Terraces is a development designed ideally for exclusive and comfortable living and comprises of 40 exquisite two-bedroom apartments set amidst tranquil environment in Milimani area, Kitengela, with the access road right opposite the Nairobi Women's Hospital. Accommodation includes lounge with balcony, large windows bringing natural light, dining area, 
open plan kitchen with granite worktops, Dolby area, state of the art finishes with attention to detail, visitors cloakroom and master bedroom ensuite. Salient features include perimeter wall with electric fencing and a guardhouse, ample parking space and adequate visitors parking, cabro paved walkways, solar water heating and boho. Next, a project strategically located right here in Nairobi, West Point. This project comes with state-of-art social amenities, ideal for a modern family. This project also has available units for sale too and is a good deal for investors. Let's see more. West Point is a development of 254 two and three bedroom apartments strategically located just minutes away from the CBD. The project consists of 13 floors with two wings, the east and west wing. There are different typologies including standard, premium and deluxe for the two bedroom apartments plus three bedrooms with a plinth area of 58, 67, 70 and 103 square meters respectively. The amenities in the apartments include spacious lounge and dining area with an open plan concept, balcony overseeing the beautiful neighborhood, a fully fitted kitchen with a cooker and hood, oven, washer plus a dryer, cabinets for storage, master ensuite bedroom with inbuilt wardrobes for storage and atrium allowing in light into the building, wide corridors and spacious stairs. The salient features include internet and DSTV connection in each apartment, three high-speed lifts with an extra one designated for the parking silo, parking silos with designated spots for each apartment plus extra parking space for the visitors, swimming pool and gym with ladies and gents changing rooms, a steam room as well as a roof terrace on the 12th and 13th floor of the West Wing. City Council water supply plus a borehole with water tanks for storage, landscape gardens, backup generator. For security, there is 24-hour manned gate, perimeter wall with electric fence, a reception, plus smart controls. West Point is complete, and 60% of the project is already occupied. There are apartments to buy and to let. The rental highlight takes us to a project located right here in the heart of Nairobi, the Regent Court. This project comprises of both commercial and residential units. And for those who don't want to live far from the CBD, I must say this is a good choice for you. Located along Owings Cordeck Road, opposite Nairobi Women's Hospital, Regent Court comprises of both commercial and residential units of 32 houses divided into four blocks, two for residential and two for commercial. Amenities in the project include four-bedroom master ensuite with a plinth area of 1,246 square feet, spacious living area fitted with wooden floors with a door leading to a balcony, spacious dining area, large kitchen with top and bottom cabinets offering enough storage, large windows allowing natural light, laundry area with a sink. Salient features include 24-7 manned gate with a perimeter wall with electric fence, 
ample parking space, cabro paved driveway, beautifully landscaped garden, park up generator, street lighting. This development is in close proximity to Yaya Shopping Center, Waridi Paradise Hotel, and Nairobi Women's Hospital. Our next stop takes us to Clay City, located along Fika Super Highway, edging closer to Nairobi, just a few minutes away from the main road. Here we find a modern three-bedroom master ensuite apartment with excellent features and finishes in a safe and secure neighborhood. Let's hear more. Defined by serene living and modern haven, Clay City Apartments are located off Thika Road in Kasarani. These modern apartments comprise of 80 three-bedroom units with a plinth area of 110 square meters spread across two blocks. Accommodation features include spacious lounge with dining area, balcony area, kitchen area fitted with granite countertops, master ensuite, common cloakroom, hot water heating system, ceramic tiled floor. Salient features include 24-7 manned gate, boundary wall with electric fence, CCTV surveillance, ample parking area, two high-speed lifts pub lock, children play area, borehole backup generator for common areas, usable rooftop. Check out a modern three-bedroom apartment complex with beautiful detailed finishes and top-notch security, Red Rose Gardens. Let's have a look at what's available here. Red Rose Gardens, a modern apartment complex located in Thidigwa along Kiambu Road, adjacent to Quick Mart Supermarket, 100 metres from the main road. The development consists of 43 three-bedroom apartments plus a DSQ with a plinth area of 154 square metres. Accommodation features include a spacious living room area with wide sliding windows that leads to the balcony area, large windows letting in natural light, separate dining area, a common cloakroom for the guests, modern kitchen with granite countertops, top and bottom cabinets for storage in the kitchen, wood floors and tile finishing making the interior aesthetics more appealing, spacious bedrooms with closets for storage. Other amenities include installed solar panels for water heating, in-house gym plus a social hall, perimeter wall with electric fencing and CCTV cameras for security, connection to the Nairobi Water Mains water supply, an underground 60,000 litres water reservoir tank, plus extra 1,000 litre water tanks for each unit. A total of 90 parking spots, providing two per unit and extra ones for guests. Power backup generator for the common areas. The rental basket takes us to our designated blue zone area popular among young professionals as well as expatriates this neighborhood is home to lifestyle heights it's a community of two and three bedroom apartments with a children's play area commercial center sufficient underground water storage standby generators ample parking and top-notch security i must say in this development every detail has been thought through Let's have a look.
The Lifestyle Estates bring to you the lifestyle you always wanted at Lifestyle Heights Apartments. Lifestyle Heights Apartments consists of two and three bedroom deluxe and standard apartments. Three bedroom deluxe apartments have a plinth area of 132 square meters, while the standard has a plinth area of 115 square meters, and the two bedroom deluxe apartment has plinth area of 100 square meters, and the standard has 81 square meters. This development comprises 472 units master en suite. It is conveniently located along Roiro Kiambu Road, 20 kilometers from Nairobi CBD. Accommodation features include a hardwood mahogany door that invites you to a spacious lounge fitted with large windows to allow in natural light. The mid wall has special effect, setting it apart from the other walls making it unique. An aluminum door seamlessly leads you to the beautifully tiled balcony which can act as a chill spot for you and your family. The kitchen comes fitted with tiled walls which are accentuated with upper and lower cabinets which offer sufficient storage. While in the kitchen, there is a door which leads to Dobie area which is also fitted with well laid out tiles and a sink plus top. The master bedroom is fitted with large windows that let in natural light. The spacious inbuilt cupboards provide a sufficient storage, a dressing counter. Given that it's en suite, the bathroom consists of a shower cubicle fitted with a rain shower head system. The two bedrooms also consist of spacious inbuilt closets complete with large windows. They share a common bathroom which is fitted with tiles. Before concluding a rental search, it's advisable to first ensure you're dealing with a genuine agent, landlord or caretaker. Secondly, avoid committing to something you have not seen. Thirdly, as a tenant, it's important to understand the lease document before signing the dotted line. It is also important to ensure water and electricity bills have been paid before taking up expenses incurred by the previous tenant. Another important aspect to note, the unit must be redecorated before a new tenant takes up the lease. Finally, understand your service charge obligation and all payments should only be paid after signing the agreement. At First Avenue, we have a rental portfolio in every price range and we'll be delighted to help you navigate through the rental journey. Just give us a call and we'll be happy to engage. Next, insights from our upskill turnkey budget solution where we are turning plots into dream homes. Upscale Homes Budget Solution is a wholesome solution. All you need to have is a plot and the next time you visit that plot, it's a home. So I would say it is designed to work for uh, working people, people who have a, an 8 to 5 job or even longer. It's designed for people who do not have the skill in knowing what a quality house looks like. And why I say that is because we have lined up or a consortium of consultants who would be able to do everything right from the designing of your house to doing the bills of quantities to the construction itself 
uh, to doing the inspections to confirm quality until the time you, your house is ready for occupation. The other thing you'll find with upscale homes uh, budget solution is that there are several typical designs that uh, anyone who's interested in uh, developing a house can choose from. The designs are modern, they're relevant for the day and, and they're designed really to suit uh, a modern young family and all you have to do then you don't have to go and look for an architect you come uh, to us and you select a home of your choice and then based on that we proceed with the construction as mmc africa law and specifically myself we provide uh, the legal side of the of the solution we will start with um, looking at your title we will do due diligence on it to confirm that your your title is is valid and is not in question that it is not on a road reserve or is not disputed. Upon being sure that your title is good, we will then take you to the architect's office. And at the architect's office, what you're looking to do is select a house type. So we have several designs which, which are designed for modern living. You will be taken through those designs and then you have to select one. Now, once you've selected the design, the next question is around what sort of plot do you have? There's one thing to have a good title, but what is the layout of your plot? What is the soil type? So there will be a topo survey that has to be done on your plot to confirm what the engineer and the architects have to take into account in, in, in developing uh, the house. So they will go there, they will do the topo survey, they will decide uh, where does the house sit, of course in consultation with the homeowner, what's the source of water, uh, is there a need for a borehole? Is there a siwa? Can you be connected to siwa? You know, those sort of decisions have to be made up front because those decisions then contribute to the cost of the house at the end of the day. Of course, the house have already been costed because a BQ has been done and we know exactly how much each house will cost. There could, however, be variation based on the soil type and the location of, 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 of the plot. So that is determined at the beginning of, of this journey uh, and a number is closed. Now, once that number is then closed, um, the next thing is about your financing. Where are you getting your money from? Do you have money sitting in an account somewhere where you'll just you know, keep drawing the money as the, the construction goes along or do you need financing? Now, if you have money in your account, then it's an easier conversation because you then straight away go on to contracting with a contractor. Where that is not the case and you probably have a deposit, then we are able to link you with a financier who would um, review your uh, repayment capability and see whether then you qualify for, for that facility. And the consortium of financials that we are working with, we have banks, several banks, and we also have circles. So, you know, the conversation with the circles or with the banks will be, can they provide you the full construction uh, cost? And then what is the method of disbursement of that money? A lot of times we envisage a situation where the financier would disburse the money as the construction goes on. So uh, based on uh, milestones in terms of the, 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 the construction progress. Now once the financing is locked, whether it is cash that you have already or you have a financier who's agreed to fund, fund the project, then the next thing is about you break ground. We have an engineer. We have an architect, we have a QS, the whole team is there. So the architect would then play the role of the project manager. Uh, you will agree with the architect um, on site visits and, and those sort of things. You'll also agree on who will be the contractor because again we have a panel of contractors who've already signed up with the upscale. So you sign the construction contract and then the construction begins. We think that the construction life is about a year. About a year you should have a home, provided that of course the financing is in place. So we are looking to work with uh, busy people uh, who probably only have a Saturday where they can come and inspect to see how far the construction has gone. We are looking to work with people who have not previously handled construction because if um, you've listened to construction stories, they are not the easiest uh, conversations to have. Sometimes you could have um, underestimation in terms of the, the quantities and therefore cost overruns. But here we've already um, 
you know, experimented and worked out the design. So we know the price that should enable us achieve uh, that cost. Now, why we are able to be very certain about price is because we have arrangements with the various providers of construction materials where price is already locked. So we're not looking to walk into a shop and today a bag of cement is maybe 700 shillings and tomorrow it's 900 shillings. No, the prices are already locked at the point where we sign with the contractor. Having participated in projects of this nature previously, possible challenges could uh, include uh, financing. Uh, because remember, if you don't have your full funding in place, then uh, it would not be advisable that, that you commence. There could be also be delays with the financials. Sometimes you put in an application and it takes a while you know, for, the, for the finance to be approved. But I would also say that the reason we are doing what we are doing is we would like to handhold and ensure that if we've referred you to a financial, provided you qualify for financing, that financing then ceases to be something you should worry about. The other thing we see as a um, possible challenge is based on your soil type and the location of the property, there could be a slight variation in the projected cost. So if you find um, soil you know that that perhaps like red soil and you may have to dig deeper than than we had anticipated would be the case then that could could contribute to an increase in in price but what i'll say about that is um, that will be closed right at the beginning so that there are no surprises in the future the other thing which is possible is um, where you've selected a design and then side, suddenly midstream you decide that you would like some variations. Uh, now, where variations come in, whether it's in terms of, of size or the way the spaces sit and flow into each other, that also could delay the construction period. Because if we are talking about breaking a wall here or extend, extending the wall, then that also uh, could mean that there's additional work for the team and, and, and could delay the, 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 the completion of the, of the project. The other one could be um, just dealing with human nature. This is a project that belongs to you as a homeowner, but it's being managed by a third party. So the possibility perhaps of interference with the project management, and here what we encourage is that um, you consult with the project manager and the project manager then makes the decisions. Because if we have more than one center of command, then the project is unlikely to run smoothly as, as it should. So those would be the possible challenges. But again, it's been done before. And I believe that uh, with, with the sort of framework we have in, in, in place, we'll, we'll be able to deliver on the, on the houses. Let me finish this conversation by speaking to our future homeowners by saying that uh, Upscale is the solution you've been looking for. We have a team of consultants who are in practice, they are currently in practice, they are out there in the market. They know what's, what's uh, trending, they know what's good for a modern buyer. We have an architect who will think through the design and walk you through that. We have a quantity surveyor who will do the numbers for you to your satisfaction and answer all the questions that you may have. We have a team of lawyers who will deal with the legal aspects of the transaction. They will look at your title, they will look at your financing documents, they will advise you on all of that. We even have a marketing team that could sell that house for you if you're not keen on living in the house. So post completion, you, 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 you can choose to live in the house, you can choose to let it out, you can choose to sell it. All of that is available. So the entire team is there to walk that journey with you. And therefore, once you signed up with, with the Upscale, you just sit back and wait for your keys. If you own a plot and are looking to turn it into a dream home, it's never a walk in the park. Here at Upscale Tanki Budget Solution, you are guaranteed a seamless construction period. Time for a short breather. Coming up after the break, 
the accessory spot with deco tips on personalizing a rental home without breaking the lease agreement. Our favorite home ownership segment with lessons to consider when getting onto the property ladder. I was shown around, I fell in love with the place, the finishing is on point, security, the serenity. The property gallery with affordable investment options available in the market. Don't go away, we'll be right back after the break. Welcome back. You're watching The Property Show. Next, our favorite home ownership segment. Let's get tips from homeowners sharing the ABCs of getting onto the property ladder and the lessons learned along the way. In the beginning of this year, I was uh, opening a business within uh, this locality, which is uh, Tattoo City. Um, and I was looking for a place where I could be able to, you know, commute in a short distance. And it was still very, very convenient to my place of work. So having worked uh, within Tattoo City before, I had always had an eye for this particular property. So I decided to come and, you know, inquire, look around and see what is there. And uh, once I got here, I was shown around. I fell in love with the place. The finishing is on point. Security, the serenity, you know, you have great views around here. And uh, the amenities, you, you're close to schools around. And uh, that's when I decided to, you know, settle for, for this place. The main uh, agenda for me was, uh, you know, the quality of the finishing and uh, the overall feel of the home because you know once you have had a long day you come home to you know you need to you want to kick back and you know just uh, just relax and this is the best place that I could find you know it's very serene it's very quiet once you get home you you're just chill you want to just relax though the list was a very self-explanatory I did uh, involve you know a few people who are in law and they understand the procedures and maybe they can point out okay all right this is uh, this is you know in your favor this is not in your favor yes I did that I would like to be a homeowner and uh, I would say lifestyle heights have uh, set the bar for me so I'm looking uh, or I'm working towards you know getting to own my own home in my opinion, it is, uh, if you are looking for a home, you need to set a budget for yourself. You know, uh, you don't want to live beyond your means. <laughs> and uh, the second thing, you have to, you know, identify, you know, the factors that are going to matter for you. If it's uh, conveniency that you're looking for, if, it's, if you're looking for solitary, you know, if you want to live that uh, recluse kind of, uh, you know, lifestyle, you want to just be on your own and have that you know serenity and peace i would say you identify those kind of factors and now you can you know uh, start your journey for searching for a rental for a home because there is a lot in the market uh, to sift through and uh, i mean uh, the journey can be quite hectic you can go look at this property look at the other but at the end of the day you end up you know confused you don't know what to choose and where to begin I've been looking for just a good place to settle down with my young family, a family of two children and myself. I just came across uh, an advertisement that was very interesting and I looked at it, I spoke to a respondent and I was further guided to come and see the area and so did I. And um, I paid it a visit and I was able to actually on that particular day meet with the development manager and I was taken through the whole area and to my surprise I mean it was exactly what I was looking for. Having moved back from the US I was looking for something that I would finally now relax and be comfortable with my young family. So the amenities quite impressed me, 
the swimming pool. My children love swimming, gym. There was a sauna, there was a steam room. And the fact that I could oversee and see the city from my house was quite impressive. So that was a selling point for me. My experience since I moved in here has been outstanding. It's been one of the best. Um, the first day I moved in, I was a first tenant actually. So I was accorded security, there were security guards, there was water, there was like, nothing was missing, even though I felt like I was alone in this complex. So far, so good, my kids enjoy, the school is nearby, I'm able to go to work efficiently, I can literally walk to the CBD and back home. So my journey here has been good. The correspondence with the security, the management, the caretaker, the communication bit is good. So this is something that would actually even tell somebody else, you know what, this is a good place to live at. Whether starting with a saving of 50 shillings or a jump start from a long-term saving plan, the key word will always remain, start wherever you are. With that, home ownership will always be achievable and this encouragement is what makes all the difference. What's your story? Just give us a call and we'll be at your doorstep to share your experience. It's that time for the accessory sports. Today, we feature deco tips, personalizing a rental home with a touch of glam and beautiful pieces without breaking the lease agreement. Use removable wallpaper, the simplest and least expensive way to enhance your rental's architecture is by revamping the walls with removable wallpaper. Installation takes a couple of hours and it's an easy way to personalize a place without permanent change. If doing the whole place seems out of the question, a statement wall could be a nice use for removable wallpaper. Paint the walls neutral colors you like. Painting is normally okay to do in a rented house, as long as the color isn't too polarizing. You want to ask to be sure, but it's an easy way to officially designate a spot as your own. Upgrade the lighting. One of the best ways to infuse some personality into a space is through lighting. Statement fixtures changes the mood of the room while allowing furniture pieces to remain neutral and easy to mix. Changing the bulbs packs high impact for little cost and almost to no effort in creating the kind of atmosphere you want to live in. Upgrade the shower head. It's easy to acquire a new shower head of your preference and can be the missing accessory in upgrading your whole bathroom. It makes a big day-to-day -day difference and it's easy to install. Keep the other shower heads in your bathroom cabinet to swap out once you leave that space. Personalize floors with your own rugs. Large rugs help create the illusion of a larger space and help ground your furniture. They're also a nice way to personalize a room or cover up flooring you don't love but can't rip up. Use unusual furniture. Furniture has its advantages, being something you can bring with you from place to place. Getting statement pieces like the wood stamps above lets you make the space undeniably your own without much effort and zero discontraction or repainting later. Put up a pin board. Keep your mind organized and your walls pinhole free with a notice board large enough for a busy schedule. 
A simple style will work in a hallway, kitchen or home office. You can use it to hang jewellery, organise your bedroom or even as a focal point in a shared living space. If you want to go for a more sophisticated look, paint your board in the same colour as your walls. The accessory spot is where we create cosy spaces with a touch of glam and beauty, turning our homes into safe havens. If you're looking for a family home, as well as a good investment opportunity, next, the property gallery with properties just for you. Park Road is a flagship project of the government's affordable housing program. The project consists of 1,370 spread over five blocks of one, two and three bedroom apartments. The apartments come in different sizes. The one bedroom has a plinth area of 30 square meters. Two bedrooms have a plinth area of 40 and 60 square meters and the three bedrooms have a plinth area of 60 and 80 square meters. The two bedrooms are master en suite and they come with an open plan concept with a living, dining and kitchen area, a common cloakroom, window facing outside for lighting and smooth flow of air in the house and a laundry area. Other amenities include two boreholes for constant supply of water, constant and reliable supply of electricity, a block dedicated for parking, a floor dedicated to commercial spaces, rooftop terraces with sitting areas, and a football pitch for recreation. Ground space dedicated to green spaces. If you are looking to be part of the program, register either on bomayangu.go.ke platform or through Huduma Centers. Located along Waiyaki Way, Waiyaki Ridge Gardens are two- and three-bedroom apartments 200 meters off Waiyaki Way. The apartments feature large open-plan living area, spacious well-fitted kitchen and ensuite master bedroom. The amenities include six high-speed lifts, backup generators, playground, electric fence, 24-7 CCTV surveillance and borehole. The apartments are in close proximity to Kianda School and Nairobi School. The development has easy access to Westlands with amenities such as the Mall, Westgate Mall and Sarit Centre. Finn Heights Apartments Located in Dagorati of Kikuyu Road, this development comprises of 28 modern two- and three-bedroom apartment units. 
With their strategic location just 100 meters off Kikuyu Road, the apartments are easily accessible. There is also easy access to Nairobi CBD and Westlands using Naibasha Road and the airport using the Southern Bypass. Accommodation features include spacious lounge come dining area making it easy to operate in both areas without difficulties, modern fitted kitchen with granite countertops which are durable and also add a fine touch to this space. The pantry is adjoined to the kitchen to provide sufficient storage for foodstuffs and kitchen products. Common cloakroom for the guests and separate derby area where you can do your laundry with ease. The two and three bedrooms have inbuilt wardrobe closets which act as storage space and the master bedroom ensuite giving you a chance to relax in your own private space. Salient features include perimeter wall, electric fence and also a CCTV for security. To high speed lifts, there is a generator for power backup. This tackles the issue of blackouts. Bohol for sufficient water supply making sure you never run out of water. Plug-in TV and fiber connectivity, ample parking space, children's play area and elevated splash pools which act as a relaxing joint for one to just chill and enjoy life. Thank you for watching The Property Show. Every week, we remain at the forefront, highlighting new and exclusive pieces unfolding in the real estate sector. If you'd like more information on any of the properties featured on this show, we'll be happy to engage. We can also arrange for private viewing and guess what, we are just a telephone call away. Join me next week for engaging conversations with movers and shakers in the sector. Till then, let's keep talking on our social media handles. As always, there is something for everyone. Kwaheri! Thank you.